Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Dying Light 2 video and we've got a great little video for you today, finally they have given us a proper farming spot for legendary weapons and obviously level 9 gears as well but more importantly the level 9 new legendary weapons that have been released since the update and I'm going to show you quickly how you can get your hands on them and how you can farm them and you know we've been dying for a way to obviously farm all these you know legendary weapons and gears first we had the sunken chest you know in the southern part of old villador they obviously soon patched that and rightly so you know it was a proper cheese but you know it got the job done and then after that really there wasn't a steady farm for the weapons if i'm being honest and you know they've kind of given us that in the update which is brilliant so we're going to cover a few things obviously locations how you can get your hands on them and also take a look at how you can maximize the damage potential with these as well anyway if you do like today's dying light 2 video hit that like button subscribe for more dying light 2 content and with that being said let's get into it Firstly, I just want to quickly cover the legendary weapon that everyone can get that came with the update called the Goon Smasher. Now, it's not powerful enough for the end game level 9 content, and to be honest, you can see in the video that I switched to the crossbow here, it just wasn't doing any damage. You cannot add mods to it, it's just a weapon that levels with the character, and to be honest, it's not even as powerful as the old level 9 gold gears. But just for the completionist in me, I'll show you how you can get this. Now, with the update, a new side quest called Something Big has been here will come in your journal, and it is a five part mission. And on completing part four, you will unlock the Goon Smasher. To equip it, all you have to do is go to any stash location, go into extras. And you'll see it there you can redeem it every 10 in-game hours and upon redeeming it all you need to do is hover over Aiden's stash on the right hand side and drag it over to the inventory on the left hand side as i say you cannot put any mods on this and in all fairness unless you're playing through maybe new game plus it may come in handy but for me i didn't find it beneficial at all but anyway let's move on to the legendary weapons so we're talking about the katana we're talking about the axe they're the two that i have got so far but i assume that you can get all of the weapons that we could get previous to the update in this new orange tier legendary weapon and their damage is ridiculous in comparison to its old counterpart now if you remember prior to the update you used to get these open world lieutenant bandit bosses that spawn very sporadically throughout the map but in all fairness there wasn't that many you know wasn't a farm you may be lucky to find a couple of nights and you know playing the game they, they, they really did not spawn that much but anyway since the update they've actually increased the spawning counters on these and all it is is you taking down five bandits but obviously they are a bit more powerful than just your regular bandits they are like a gold lieutenant now upon taking them down they will have a very hard chest for you to pick and inside you're going to find legendary gear and obviously a level nine gears and yeah as i say you know these do pop up quite often i seem to find them every maybe minute or two just traveling the world making the video that i made yesterday for the 10 elemental goon location video and yeah you know they quite steadily spawned as well as you know the other world encounters like the bolters the normal bandits and the normal gold goons so by all means check them out i'm sure they drop great gear but these are obviously the pinnacle these are the hardest random world events that are happening and as you can see in the footage in the background i pick up two of the new legendary weapons one being the katana and one being the reliable axe and of course this gives us great opportunities to be completing gear sets you know your brawler your tank your medic and ranger and with these appearing so frequently it gives me a reason to keep on playing dying light 2 which it didn't have before the updates anyway we're going to take a little closer look at these new legendary weapons and have a look at the max damage that i've managed to get if you do happen to get it higher than i do let me know in the comments down below how you did it that will be great but as far as i know this is the best and highest damage output you can get on these weapons 
so yeah as you can see the new legendary Enzo Katana's base damage is 495 which absolutely dwarfs its predecessor and you know what I really liked my spark and flame mod Katana before the update so we're going to do that again just to see what optimal damage we can gain so we're going to stick the spark mod on the tip we're going to stick on the flame mod and of course we're going to stick on the empowerment mod and finally as you've guessed it the correct charmer to finish this weapon off and as you can see the maximum damage is 629 and what i really like about these two mods is obviously the fact that they're based off critical hits so they're activated automatically i prefer that to obviously activating the blast mods personally so i suppose it is down to personal preference putting any of these mods on should give you the same bonuses as what i've got just double check that on the right hand side the damage is going up as you're putting these mods on and to be honest i was actually thinking of making a few videos of different combinations of these mods and putting them together with certain gear sets and basically just making build videos if you would be interested in something like that let me know in the comments down below but yeah max damage is 629 as i say if you are getting more than that let me know down in the comments but that is it for today's dying light 2 video i hope this video has really helped you i hope you are now collecting these legendary weapons like i am i hope you're perfecting your gear sets and maximizing your damage for obviously you know all these world encounters that you're coming across and for new game plus because there are a few exciting things in new game plus that i can't wait to sink my teeth into open world volatiles is one of them so perfecting these builds and maximizing your damage is going to be vital for that anyway as i say that is it for today's dying light 2 video if you did like it and it did help you out hit that like button hitting that like button tells youtube that this video was valuable and it also recommends it to other people who are looking at Dying Light 2 videos and of course like always subscribe for more Dying Light 2 content but yeah that's the video